vicious floods, record-breaking heat waves, devastating wildfires. Not a day passes without some news of the latest climate catastrophe from somewhere in the world. But in the spirit of today's summit, we must not let these news overwhelm us, overwhelm us with despair, but inspire us to action. Morning, I'm the Director General of WIPO, the World Intellectual Property Organization, the UN Agency for Intellectual Property. At WIPO, we believe that to get the SDGs back on track and to solve our common global challenges, we need to unleash and harness the power of create innovation and creativity from around the world. And we believe that bold statements like this need to be backed up with strong action. As a UN agency for IP, we gather and analyze IP data from all over the world. And this gives us a deep insight into research and technology trends globally. And what we find is that because of the growing awareness of climate change, there has been a strong growth in climate change-related technologies and research in the past few years. At the same time, demand for such technologies is also exploding. But there's been a problem. Those offering these technologies is not talking to those who need the technologies. Supply and demand is growing, but out of sync. And that's why WIPO created WIPO Green, a free online digital platform, which is a tech-matching platform to bring those who offer these technologies with those who need the technologies so that they can talk to each other and form partnerships. WIPO Green has grown to become what we believe to be the UN family's largest tech-matching platform for climate technologies, offering 130,000 technologies from 140 countries with 1,000 matches already in the bag. But this is not enough, it's just a drop in the ocean. We want to bring more eyeballs to this technology. And so last year at COP27, we launched the WIPO Green Technology Book, where we gathered all the different technologies in WIPO Green around the theme of climate adaptation, and we published that. And we're very pleased that in the last one year, we've seen 800,000 views and close to 20,000 downloads of WIPO Green's technology book. And this year at COP28, we launched a new theme, a second edition, along the lines of climate mitigation technologies. But matches must lead to marriages. The engagements that we engender through WIPO Green Platform must lead to partnerships that deploy these technologies on the ground for impact. And so we also created a new project called the WIPO Green Acceleration Projects. And these projects, we are working with people and partners on the ground to support the deployment of technologies in a concrete way. The WIPO Green Acceleration Projects have helped the palm oil mills in Indonesia to cut the methane emissions. It's helped cherry growers in Chile to address extreme weather events to protect their crops. And we're helping Chinese industry to reduce their carbon footprint. And we are very pleased that the SDG Digital Summit has recognized Wipo Green as one of the award-winning technologies. And with this encouragement and recognition, we hope to work with more partners, and we invite you to join us in this journey to harness the power of digital to accelerate innovation for the good of the world. In conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, it is said that we're entering a new geological age, a new epoch called the Anthropocene, where human activity is changing the face of the planet. Let us work together to make sure that the Anthropocene doesn't end up like the Jurassic in death, destruction, and extinction, but instead becomes an age where we use digitally accelerated technologies and innovation to build a better, fairer, and more sustainable world. Thank you very much.